Today we're going to be talking about dilutions, and dilutions are very important because normally whenever we are given some sort of stock solution, it's not in the concentration that we want, it's not in the concentration that we need. A lot of times the stuff that we order um, to help us perform labs is at a much higher concentration so that we are not paying them to ship us water, and we water it down ourselves. So this uh, dilution is how we figure out how to water it down to the exact molarity that we actually want. And the dilution calculation is actually really easy, really quick, and that is going to be the M1 times V1, or molarity 1 times volume 1, equals M2 V2, or molarity 2 times volume 2. Okay, so with this relationship here, I can go ahead and figure out how much water I need to add, what my original molarity was, all that kind of stuff is just going to be from this very simple equation. Okay, here is an example problem. We have to what volume should you dilute? So we know that the question word is attached to volume and we know that it is going to be the post, my after volume, because I am going to dilute to that volume. So it says, what volume should I dilute? So that means I don't know my V2. 1.33 liters, well, if I already have V2, that must mean that 1.33 is my V1 of a 7.9 molar copper 2 chloride solution. So this is going to be the molarity that it is attached to this volume, which means that this molarity is my M1, so that my final concentration is 0.65 molar. Final concentration, again, very nice, very explicitly stated that this was going to be my M2. And I went ahead and I underlined it with what it was actually going to be attached to, so I can go ahead and plug it in and define my variables. So as we were going through, we kind of already pulled out everything. We have uh, everything kind of color-coded, so that makes it easier. You might want to just go through again and make sure that you have everything attached to um, what it needs to be attached to. Again, final concentration means that this is going to be my M2, which means that my other red value must be my M1. And then I know that my what volume should I dilute to, that has to be my V2, which means I do not know it. So that means my 1.33 must be my V1. Now that I have everything explicitly defined, I can go ahead and solve for my desired variable. The thing that I do not have, that's V2. Well, I see that M2 and V2 were being multiplied together, and to isolate V2, I needed to divide both sides by M2, and that's exactly what I did here. Once I have everything defined, I have my equation isolated, I can go ahead and plug everything, solve it, round, and attach an appropriate unit. I went ahead and I plugged everything in here. I have 7.9 molar, um, which is going to be my M1, multiplying by my V1, and I'm dividing by my V2, and that will give me a number. That number is 16.16461538. That's a really long gross number. I went ahead and I rounded it to two decimal places. Four did not make me round up, so I went ahead and kept it as 16.16, .16, and I attached an appropriate unit. The only unit that was left in my math was liters, which is the unit that I went ahead and attached to my final answer.